The work you are about to witness is not a turbulent episode, nor is it something which surfaced from a high emotional state. The main subject of this video, the gatekeeper of the reality scam on earth, has come to my channel and attempted to demean my subscribers. This was over a year ago. Yet, this sort of behavior, this vile display, this immaturity continues. He does not allow his words to stand. Later that day, he deletes his comments. He willfully displays the coward that he is. He fails to acknowledge proper social deportment, mirrors my video without my permission and without acknowledgement. He calls this action a test. You see, you cannot be down for the cause unless you can be treated like an instrument to promote his agenda. An agenda, he stresses, is one of freedom. The attainment of freedom for the descendant of slaves within America. He claims that if you cannot agree, it is best you go your separate ways. That there is no hate involved. Yet, he will cloak himself in various identities and address you on your comment page in accusatory ways. Normally, he does this in order to stir some sort of negativity. Even after all of this, I offered to take down all of my videos regarding him and his ridiculous ministry. His response was to create yet another video where he lists me in the tags. You see, this was a passive-aggressive method of attempting to push buttons. It failed, but it did show me that more illumination needs to be given, given to him. Now, YouTube thrives off of conflict. It especially seems interested in the conflict of certain groups. Black seems to be a favorite of theirs. So, this is not a beef. This is self-propelled movement around the environment of a snake oil salesman. Warning, the word truth is a setup. It is symbolic for and equated to ideological conformity. Do not fall for his shenanigans. They are called Benedict Arnold. We call them Uncle Tom's. We call them symbols. I call them dark Europeans. Whatever you call them, they are a group of very mentally ill, sick individuals, a sick group of people with confused brains. And I want to present to us a little bit more of that confusion, okay? The Judas or the Benedict Arnold mentality, I call them dark Europeans or dark Europeans that call themselves black. And when you are an Uncle Tom, suffer from Samboism, you have to be careful around white folks. See, since you are called black, since you are called Afro-American, you still, no matter how much you try to love your racist Caucasian friends, and some of them are covert Races, because as soon as you try to say something in favor of your own black self, they are no longer your friends. Why we can't be together? How come it's black? How come it's white? Let's be together. But when you look at this white racist society, it's all about them. You have a hatred for yourself and a sick love for your slave masters, children. Because they wonder why. I lick you in your booty, white man. I try to give you everything. I try not to offend you, white man. But you still mistreat me. The Uncle Tom, the symbol, don't understand why nothing changed. It has not changed in 400 years. Let me say that again. Brothers and sisters, 
I'm talking about why are you defending the racist Caucasian people in power that force their name on you, that make you give your money to them so you don't help us? Because if you help your own people, you think that you'll be a, 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 a reverse racist. Now you hate white folks. You, you don't feel that you can help your own because you don't want to offend the slave master's children. They try to make you feel guilty for standing up for your family, standing up for your people. I don't expect the Uncle Tom, the Sambo, the dark European to wish to stand up for their ancestors because they have no love. They have no love for their ancestors in hopes that one day we will not be judged by the color of our skin but by the content of our character. Slave mentality, the dark European mentality, they are coming out of their holes from the left, from the right, from the north, from the south. They are coming out in droves, ready to stand up and defend their master. You cannot say anything about Caucasian people. They want to show their master, I'm not like those Negroes. Whether they like it or not, no matter how much they lick the white man in the bootay, they still are affected by the racism. And instead of being a man, instead of being a woman, they bottle their real feelings up because they don't want to offend white folks. I am the Uncle Tom Slayer. This wasn't his, the reality's temple on earth. Hotel Black Power. This is your brother and hopefully your friend. This is your brother and hopefully your friend. This is your brother and hopefully your friend. I am, I am, I am. The most powerful voice on YouTube. YouTube, good to be with you. I do not like to air dirty laundry, especially in mixed company. You never know who to trust. Sometimes you just need to open the window and let the fresh air in. Let me break it down freestyle with a beatnik spice. Purpose driven liars surround us. Within them, we can detect the function of a hypocrite, cheat, hater, and deceiver. Like certain famous TV evangelists, they mislead to keep you off balance in hopes of preventing you from developing outside of their belief system. Now, it can be tricky, as you may find yourself conflicted, for you share certain slivers of various world views. The goal? To motivate you, inspire you to regularly attend their cyber edifice. Here, you can recharge your depleted batteries, where your lounge chair functions as a pew. Here, you are encouraged to give devotion to the exaltation of victimhood. Here, you can beat your chest as you daydream of kingdoms and brighter tomorrows. Here, division is desired, yet promotion of unity functions as a shield from one's true intentions. Behind closed doors, which shields them from their flock, bold things are spoken. Unfortunately, there will always be a fanatical few who will follow the circus while leaving truth behind. This they will willfully do, as the staged public entertainment dismisses evidence that contradicts beliefs. This they do while hoping their representative, the mask of the shepherd, wins the argument. This they do while chanting, it's a cold winter in America. It's a cold winter in America. 
It's a cold winter in America. Knowing you may say to hell with the real conclusion, I want to feel good. Suddenly, a smile is brought to his face. He knows he has gotten the flock to drink the Kool-Aid. Despite this activity, he travels from channel to channel proclaiming, This ministry doesn't represent the worship of anyone or anything. The swirling lies are like tornadoes enveloping the entire so-called Church of Black Revolution. All while the half-baked reasoning sweeps up the fool in a whirlwind of destruction, this shifty one raises his brow as he speaks. One can't clean another's house while their own lies foul. The fools of his congregation clutches to this trite remark, hoping not to be labeled dark Europeans, sambos, and sellouts. He flashes his smile, the one he used when he tried to sell bean pies of long ago, the one that he used when he tried to give up to himself to the Honorable Minister Farrakhan. Knowing all salespeople must smile in order to make a sell, he connives as he laughs internally. He knows no salesman has to find you agreeable. The mean streets of St. Louis has proven to him that even crackheads will call you brother if you buy them a hit. Yet, he has become like those he complains of, freely allowing their evil to be channeled through him. As he assumes the shape of a monster, he says, Think for yourself. Take your freedom. Yet the rhythmic drumbeat of his compulsion betrays him. He yearns for minds which are moldable objects open for suggestion. The voice roll preaching is popping as he sizzles, or believes that he sizzles, behind the pulpit. Grasping for ideas as electrical pulses bounce off of his decaying synapses. An organism is fought within his mind, some mental representation of some haunting experience. He fights as he schemes of hyping his subscribers into one big group think. Know the truth. Do not fall prey to the guise of this manipulator's self-indulgences, but you have seen it all before. It is vomit, digested from the ghost of a poorly played bee flick, one where Malcolm stands in the background. Claims of having the real truth lingers, like the funk of yesterday's toe jam. This sucker discards the acknowledgement that his followers are transient. I spy racial movements rooted in peer pressure. Hard heads foreign to reason are even harder to convince they are controlled. The likes of Brother Polite, King Noble, and Sarah Sutinsetti abound. The fools are abundant within the court. Yet these dudes say a whole lot of nothing and push commercialized verb. The shit swells as it gets out of hand. The crowd pays as the renegades push their bullshit. These leaders show no wisdom, yet talk a good game. It is obvious the cord between them and the elders have long ago been severed. This is just another part of the Matrix. Welcome to the machine, to the machine. All these ambitious and aspiring confidence men are stuck in a plantation mentality. They circle their independent flocks as they waste energy Shadow boxing with themselves. Shadow boxing, Shadow boxing with themselves. With themselves. Shadow, Shadow, boxing Shadow boxing with themselves. Broadcasting beefs, which leaves them as weak as slaves on the merry boat, Jesus. This is... The new diversion with very old roots. The revised hustle.